So here today we're here with Chris Hinckley and Chris, why don't you give us a little idea about your thyroid situation and what happened to you, okay? Okay, thank you Dr. Michael. I went in to see my medical doctor. I was having shortness of breath. Um, I walk a lot and I just seemed to be losing it. The more I walked it was harder and harder. So I saw my doctor mm -hmm. and he did blood tests and found that my thyroid was really high. And so he sent me to the endocrinologist and she did some more lab work and then did uh, several scans, uh, the iodine okay. uh, scan, several scans, ultrasounds, and found that my thyroid was really, really high off the charts, burning up, bleeding, enlarged, that, um, you know, and so she gave me three options, but her first two options that she really wanted to go with was one was to radioactivate my thyroid. She wanted to, to remove my thyroid. Kill it off. Uh -huh. Kill it off or surgically remove my right. thyroid. Mm -hmm. And then my third choice was to take uh, an anti-thyroid medication, uh -huh. um, which usually she says does not work. Um, and most patients who do do it, they have to still remove their thyroid. Mm -hmm. So that's why she wanted to go with the first two. And I just said that wasn't an option for me. Right. And so I went with the methamazole medication. Uh -huh. um, how, long, how long have you been on this now? I've been on it for 16 months. 16 months, 18 okay. months is the longest uh -huh. that you can be on it. Wow, okay. Um, and you can never take it again. Right, got it. So I've, you know, from the medication, unfortunately, you put on weight, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm up about 20 pounds, wow. um, but I'm looking forward to it because she's just now reduced me throughout these months um, as my thyroid is leveled out. You know, why? Why? What have we done differently than the medical establishment as far as finding out what's going on with your thyroid? Right. And what kind of response have you gotten back from them, you know, with our okay. testing? So. I came in to see Dr. Leonard and Dr. Michael, mostly for my back, not really understanding what they did um, in the you, metabolic side. Metabolic side, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. So when I told them I had thyroid problems, they suggested some tests, and, and I did take those tests, and I went to see my doctor and, um, you know, told them I was on, you know, I gave them my test results. The findings of what we performed. Yes, uh -huh. and well, be, and before let me just back up. Before I gave him the the findings, mm -hmm. I told him I was having these tests, and he didn't think that it was necessary. He mm -hmm. said that it was a waste of my mm -hmm. money, and all they wanted was my money. Wow. And Dr. Michael had said, "Why wait 18 months yeah. taking this medication to find out whether it's going to kill off whatever's attacking my thyroid?" Yeah. You know. And so when I told that to my MD, he said. If Dr. Michael and Dr. Leonard could find what is attacking your thyroid, they would get a Nobel Peace Prize. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. So I'm waiting for them to get that. So um, I saw, you know, I did the test results and they did find out what was attacking my thyroid. It is gluten. I have the gene for celiac. And um, was there any other sensitivities? A yeast, soy, dairy? Uh, dairy, yes. soy, whey. whey are all the things that I'm sensitive, my body is, right. has sensitivity to. Got it. So. You've been off all those now. I've been off of those uh -huh. for two and a half months. And then taking the supplements. And I'm taking the supplements that right. Dr. Michaels Good. gave me. Uh -huh. And um, I recently just went back to my endocrinologist uh -huh. who um, did an ultrasound of my thyroid. Uh -huh. And my thyroid is not bleeding anymore. Excited. It is. A little bit enlarged, but yeah. nothing she said to write home about. Right. And she just cut my medication way down to almost every other day, just wow. an itty bitty dose. It's so small, you can't even hardly touch it. <laughs> you yeah. can't really feel it so little. So I'm so excited yeah. that, you know, that I know um, we're progressing in the right direction with the help of Dr. Michael and Dr. Yeah. Leonard and this amazing new findings. Right. And right. it's going to change my life. Yeah. Has there been any other unexpected improvement uh, other than you mentioned? I mean, that's pretty exciting. Thyroid is no longer bleeding, and of course, the medications have reduced. Any other things that you've noticed as well on top of that, as far as clarity um, of mind, as far as energy, as far as? Um, yeah, I, I do have more energy at times. I've, done, I've gone off of caffeine, so it's yeah. taken me a little bit longer because I've been on caffeine for years, and so um, just been off of it for two months. Right. So, 
you know, I, I do feel more energy. Okay. I um, was having stomach problems also, right. you know, some cramping and spasms in my abdomen that I didn't know what they were. Wow. And that is basically gone most wow. of the time. I yes. hardly have that at all. Awesome. So, Great. Yeah, yeah. Ah, that's exciting. That's yeah. neat. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Glad to.